State mom is spreading a powerful message to teens as prom and spring break season inches closer. Her son, Brandon Stites, was killed in a DUI crash during spring break of his senior year in 2015. His mom says the pain will never go away, but this year she felt compelled to share his story in hopes it might save a life. And Fox Carolina's Kayla Conboy joins us live tonight outside of Woodruff High School with more on this story. Kayla? Well, I was talking with his mom earlier today. She tells me it's been four years and it doesn't get any easier, but every day she's learning new skills and new ways to cope with this grief. She says her son's life was tragically cut short and she's made it a mission to make sure it doesn't happen to others. This one night, his, his life was, was took like instantly. It's been four long years, but for Mary Parks, it feels like it was yesterday. Her son ripped from the family by a drunk driver. But when she looks at pictures, she can still hear his laugh. And that's what I miss the most is him just making me laugh and hearing his feet walk across the floor. And I just miss a lot of things about him. Brandon will always be their number seven. She says he lit up when he was on the field and even had dreams of playing in college. I do get emotional and I do get upset, but just talking about him, I feel a relief. I feel Brandon is happy. Um, I feel with me continuing to talk about him, it helps me, but it's not, he's, he's never going to be forgotten, and I never want him to be forgotten. So she's made it her mission to spread his story around, hoping it will inspire others. He was the passenger in a car, um, and the driver was intoxicated, he was drunk, and it was just like a, a, the worst nightmare. A mother losing a child is nothing that you could ever explain. But every day, she tries her best by speaking to other teens across the upstate about the dangers of drunk driving. I bring up a picture of Brandon's grave, and this is where I visit him now. And it's like they had the kids have this pause on their face, and they're just shocked. They're not prepared to. I guess to hear what I'm fixing to say. On holidays, they visit Brandon at his grave, but every time she's back, she says it feels like he's on vacation or went off to college and never came home. Never think that it won't happen to you because I never in a million years thought I would lose one of my boys. I have four boys and it's hard to say to this day, I only have three boys, especially at Christmas when I do Christmas stockings or Easter baskets. To go from four to three is, is, is a big, a big heartbreak. It was her New Year's resolution to talk to these schools to be strong for Brandon. She's already talked to several in the area, but in April, the same month Brandon died, she'll be back here at Woodruff High. She says she knows it's going to be harder than any other school talk she's done, but it's about say it's about uh, keeping his memory alive. That's what this whole mission has been about. Reporting live in Woodruff, Kayla Conboy, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.